Hello and welcome to the channel. It's Machine Dana. I hope you're doing really, really well. Um, I'm going to go into a video today about how to set up and to configure and customize and make the most of the Emote Pyramids module within Streamlabs Online. This is a suite of modules that you can use within the CloudBot function of Streamlabs Online. You can use it on Twitch, Facebook Gaming, you can use it on YouTube Gaming as well. And also, it's not specific to using the Streamlabs OBS software. You can use this module, this online function, uh, with, with multiple different streaming platforms, for example, with OBS or with Stream Elements. Within this video, I'm gonna go through how you actually set up the Emote Pyramids uh, module and how you set up CloudBot, how you configure it, uh, and how you make the most of that particular module for your users. The modules are a really, really unique way of creating extra engagement, loyalty, and kind of just fun within your chat, uh, particularly during downtimes or, or when it's just quieter moments on your stream. And I found these modules to be really, really successful so far on my channel for helping A, it to grow, but B, also for the users to stay around for longer as well on your channel, which is obviously a great thing. Ultimately, any viewers going to stay around for you as the streamer and the broadcaster, um, but you've got more chance of keeping them around for a little bit longer if you've got more ways to, to, to make your channel sticky for those users. Uh, no innuendos on the sticky comment there. <laughs> if you do find this video useful, please do click the thumbs up button below on the video. It just helps the visibility of the video for anyone else searching for it. Uh, and also, if you wanna see more content like this, streaming tips, tools, guidance, tutorials, uh, just click the little subscribe button below. I'd really appreciate the sub, of course, for a, a growing YouTube channel. Um, also, you're welcome to visit my channel and see these live in action. I do stream most days at twitch.tv forward slash machine Dana. Feel free to give me a follow if you like. Otherwise, let's get into it. Okay, let's talk briefly first about Streamlabs Online itself. Streamlabs Online is a an online suite of services that Streamlabs offers to their uh, to their customers. There are a load of free functions that you get and some extra uh, in increased sort of added value paid functions that you have option to upgrade to if you want to. Uh, you don't need to use Streamlabs OBS to access these free functions or the paid functions. But I do find that Streamlabs OBS and the Streamlabs Online functions tend to integrate very, very well together uh, to create the best experience for your users, either that on Twitch, Facebook gaming, or YouTube gaming. Uh, to do this, you just visit streamlabs.com and you can set up an account here. You can use your Twitch credentials to set those up and log in each time. So it makes it really, really seamless and easy. What you need to do is you need to ensure that the CloudBot function is turned on. That enables CloudBot on your channel. What you, and that's located under the CloudBot section here. Or you can simply do a search for CloudBot here and it'll locate the CloudBot. So make sure this is toggled on. Go to your own chat within Facebook, YouTube, gaming, or even on Twitch as well. Type forward slash mod space Streamlabs in your chat. That will mod Streamlabs uh, CloudBot for the purposes of these modules to be able to work. What you then do is go to the module section here and we're concerned today with the Emote Pyramids module. Now, first of all, we want to make sure that Emote Pyramids is turned on. You just click this toggle button here. That's straightforward. And then we do preferences. So there are no commands for the Emote Pyramids. There's no loyalty system. It doesn't use loyalty system or anything like that. It's just something cool to have. In, it's just like a little Easter egg for your channel. So what we'll do in the Emote Pyramids here, we'll use preferences. Now, what we're going to do here is there are some default ones. These are the default 3, 5, 9, 15, and 25. And that's that's actually the width of the emote pyramid. Now, I'll explain what the emote pyramid is in a little bit of a, a second. I'll just first go through these settings. The settings here are quite straightforward. We need to, uh, you, you can add a new message if you want and, and create the width of the emote pyramid. Uh, it works best when it actually does make a pyramid. So like 3, 2, and a 1 would be three wide, five, four, three, two, one would be five wide, and so on. A two pyramid would be two and then a one. Again, we'll show this uh, in the chat after. Um, and then you can add a message response here as well. The message response use these variable toggles, which are located on the command section here under variables, if you do want to edit what they are. The best way to configure these is to use the ones that are already there, and you can literally just copy the text to clipboard and then add a new message. 
and then paste it here like that. So you've then got the format locked down and you can edit that format once you're here. I'm just going to cancel that again. So you can actually add them by doing it that way or you can click the pencil button here, let's say on the three. You can define what the width of the pyramid is and I'll show that in a second. Uh, so it's forward slash me and then it's space username made an amount and then that's the amount of the pyramid which is actually the width uh width pyramid and then there's a there's basically a emote that you can define but you can add more emotes you can add like a custom message you can you could even make it so that if someone manages to make an emote pyramid that is really really big in your chat that they get some sort of special prize or some sort of special easter egg or something like that it's kind of a cool way to, to do things, new ways of interacting on the stream. So, so we're able to edit those. They will now work uh, in, in full. I think the forward slash me just defines that um, it, it, it uses the user's text uh, to enable that function. So I wouldn't I wouldn't mess around with these here unless you're quite experienced with with this type of um Sort of higher level configuration on Twitch or on, on cloud bots or bots in general. Uh, if you're more if you're comfortable to edit those in a more um, complex way, then by all means do that. So what we then do is we've now got a situation where we've got the standard default uh, responses and the pyramids that can be used. Uh, again, we can add more or we can edit these. So let's just go back. I know that this is now enabled. Cloudbot is t is toggled on, and we've. I know that I've already modded Streamlabs in my Twitch account. So I'm just going to go onto to my channel here. I'm just going to type an emote. It doesn't really matter what the emote is. It is just an emote pyramid. It's not. It doesn't specify the type of emote that you need to use to make these pyramids, even though you specify the response. So you can add stupid emotes into your response. Uh, as a message, just a custom message. So, so just to illustrate how this works, I'll actually create some remote pyramids here. I'll first do a one, then a two, then a three. That's the top of the pyramid. And then a two again, and then a one again. And hopefully, yeah. So my bot account here has responded from the cloud bot module uh, to say machine Dana made a three width pyramid and then you've got the emote that you specified let's just try that with a five in, uh, wide pyramid one two one two three one two three four one two three four five that's the top of the pyramid and then one two three four three two oops too many there one now it says machine Dana has made a five width pyramid. So that's an automatic response. And just to show what that looks like, because the width of the chat doesn't look particularly brilliant if you're on the native platform. Whereas if you're on some other platforms, you can see more than four uh, wide. This is, this is my Streamlabs OBS, which pulls in that chat into my OBS, uh, Streamlabs OBS. Uh, so I can see that on a second screen. And you can see that it's made a five wide pyramid like that. So there you have it, a really, really simple module to set up on the CloudBot function for Streamlabs Online. Dead simple, nice, cool Easter egg that you can add, and maybe you can make some uh, kind of unique fun with that with your viewers, hopefully. If you do come up with some really cool ideas, by the way, sharing is caring, so let me know in the comments if you find like a really cool way of using this particular simple, straightforward module. Hopefully you found this useful. Again, feel free to like the video to help the exposure. If you want to see more, click the sub button. Uh, take a look at me on twitch.tv forward slash machine Dana and otherwise have a brilliant day. Take care.